Hey everybody, it's Stephanie here with another video. Um, this one might be a long one, so be prepared for that. Uh, I want to share my setup for my September B6 Daisy Dory from Coco Daisy. I'll do that first, and then I'm going to mention a few other things. Um, so, if you're here for that, we'll go with that first. So, this is, like I said, the B6 size Daisy Dory from Coco Daisy. She offers multiple kits, and I get the planner kit as well as the planner classified. So, on the front cover here, I have used the paper that comes in the planner kit and trimmed it down to fit the front of the notebook. I usually leave a little edge. Um, I just like the look of that. And I don't cover it because I this month use some packing tape to protect the edge because I'm in and out of here a lot and it's just a little bit of reinforce extra reinforcement. This is a card from the free printable that you can get the downloadable um, subscriber printable. I just trimmed it down a little bit and rounded the corners. I stamped September I used a little ladybug sticker, which is adorable. I love this kit. Let me let me go into that. This is my favorite kit so far. Uh, I love the critters. I love the colors. Purple is my favorite. I'm glad that Christine put some purple in here because that's, um, I know, her least favorite color. So I appreciate that every now and then she throws some purple in there for those of us who love that color. So this is my favorite kit so far. Okay, now back. <laughs> so I used some rub-ons from the uh, kit for the little bee and the little mouse and the flower. Adorable. And then I did post a picture of this. And since then I added some stuff because I, I just felt it needed a little something extra. Uh, this is the front of the book that I have um, just added some vellum to. And then this guy, I always put um, the month and the year because I will go back and look through these just to see how creative I was, um, maybe what was going on that month. Just uh, fun for me to keep these and go back and look. This is uh, a little flip open, a little tip in that flips open. This uh, paper is the pre no the free printable and I cut it in half so this was the top section and this was the bottom of the um, a5 bookmark I think is what it was referenced on the the printout sheet and I do like a bullet journal kind of method in here on my days so I have a key and then I use um, a daily checklist to check all the places that I keep notes because and if you're interested in a little more explanation of what this is um, and how I use it I keep notes everywhere and this is kind of my reference list to check those every day um, to keep track of to do's and things like that I just use the washi tape from the kit to tip it in and this is the sticker tab and then one of the sticker labels and then I added the little bee in the middle here. And since it does have like this uh, watercolored look and like even the little splashes on the washi tape, I kind of did like a little bit of decoration on this background because I just felt it was kind of plain um, with the craft paper look behind all this beautiful colors. So just uh, added a little bit of that to tie into the rest of it. This vellum, this was a digital that I bought from Digitals by Row, new shop that I found. I absolutely love her stuff. This was perfect for this month's kit. I have some other items in here um, that I used. This was her monthly overlay, and it look how, like, it just went so well. Like, even the little bee lines up with the flower. It was just amazing that this went so well with this kit. And then it, like, there's what it looks like without anything behind it. The little splotches tied into all the, 
you know, the decoration of the, the artwork. Amazing. And then I always use, um, if you've seen my videos before, the centers of the hole reinforcers to mark my paydays on my calendar. I didn't do anything else on this page, but I have switched it up in here a little bit. So I left this as I always do. I use it for notes. These are the alphabet stickers offered in the kit. And I didn't do anything extra to this page just because there's such beautiful artwork on there already, which is the best part of the, the Daisy Dories or any of the inserts that um, Coco Daisy offers. You really don't have to do anything to them. You can just jump in and use it as is. There's cute quotes. There's decoration. Um, I just like to use it as a creative outlet for myself. So, you know, I don't have to do as much work because it's pretty much laid out for me. Um, I can just add and, you know, go pull a bunch of things from my uh, craft stash and just, you know, add to what's already here. So I used uh, the, let's see, I think this, this weekend was from the current kit. And then I just used a stamp for the beginning of the month because I always, no matter what day the first starts on, I will always start this booklet for the whole month. So this time, September starts on a Thursday and I used, this is like my new favorite stamp set. This is from Catherine Puller and I used this later on, you'll see, and then it has the days of the week and a couple of different fonts with some little added words. Um, loved this guy this month. So that's what I have used here for the, the days. And then this page is going to be my book TBR. So I'm really challenging, challenging myself to read more this month. This kit inspired me to do that with all the little stacks of books. So I added a little book here. I used the alpha stickers and then I trimmed like the edge of this die cut down. So it had like a thinner white edge around it. So this little mouse holding the book would fit on there. Super cute. And then I used um, just my normal thin washi. I didn't do my normal layout. I usually divide this page in half and then this page in half and do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Since I'm changing the layout of what I'm using um, for the back pages for in my Dory this month, I did the week set up like this. So there's that week, the little B page, the little mouse and the cat. So I added this little mouse and this little cat. And then I just thought these um, day stickers kind of went with the, this page the best. And then I did the little daisies with the daisies on the page. And then here is my currently, I do this every month. I used uh, that same stamp set that I use every month. Um, here in the past couple months here. This is from Chic Sparrow. I do have a uh, code down below that you can save uh, on a purchase from their shop. I used both of these this month to create these boxes. This was a stencil I used for the lines and these were two of the free printables that I just trimmed down to size. This was the uh, sticky note that came in the kit. And let me grab it. So it's this. I'm going to be honest, these never really stick. So um, I just adhered the whole thing down. And then I used my label maker to make a currently. I'm waiting on a couple sticker orders. Um, Mad Hatter Sticker Co., who I PR for, has um, let me do a custom for like the currently words, and then I'm going to do like reading, watching, crafting, uh, all of those on here. And I'll let you know when those come in. Maybe I'll do a little video. 
So that's my currently page. This page, I didn't really know what to do with this. Um, this is a vellum by Digitals by Row. Also the same company that did this one. And then I use the tab. This finances is an older Coco Daisy stamp set. And I do bills and my purchases. And then I always protect the center of my book with some washi. Then I use the tab for my month at a glance. Okay, this was a labor of love. Holy moly, this guy. I was determined to use this shape for a calendar and to make it fit within these little honeycomb shapes on the corners of the page. So I had to figure out through all my stencils what size honeycomb will fit, how many um, can go on each page, how to make it look like a calendar. It was tough, but I did it, and I think it is awesome. I have used a Tim Holtz uh, individual alphabet for September and some textured stamping on the side as some decoration behind it. These are all stickers or die cuts from the kit. There's a little bee down here. This, the days of the week are again this Catherine Pooler stamp set. And then these little trails, the, the bee trails, I at the beginning of the month, or well, yeah, the beginning of this month, I guess, put together a basket where I just pulled everything I thought would go with this kit, colors, washi tape, stamp sets, um, anything I had, I just put it in a big basket and I just went through it and played as I was setting up the booklet. And then I used these little trails. This is from Honeybee Stamps. And I could add these, it was perfect. There's daisies and bees and um, I just used the little trails, bee trails on this one. And then these stickers, the clear stickers are from my um, favorite place for dots and that's from Sticker Human. This is the sheet that you get. Like there's a ton, there's a bunch of different colors. It came with a bunch of freebies. This is the, the set that I used here. I'll have a link to their shop. Amazing prices. Um, you'll, you'll love that if you use date dots. And then these, of course, are from the, the Daisy kit themselves. Then I used a stencil for some lines. And this is a sticker that I added on the side. And this is a sticker from the kit. And then I just stamped the word pray. This will be my prayer list. This little guy, so cute. This uh, mood tracker is from Digitals by Row. It came, the whole thing um, came as is. I just had to write in my, what words were gonna be used for my key. I had to color in what a color, you know, for each one of these. And then I stamped the days um, out in the honeycomb pattern. And I'm gonna, I got this little thing to the side. I keep this. So this is all the inks that I used in case I wanna stamp something else. I plan on maybe using this little shape. Um, I got some other stamps in here that I'll keep. This guy I might use to divide some days in the front. I just kept this little basket of items here, my washies that I used, extra die cuts, and then these are my pencils, colored pencils I used for the color coding um, for my mood tracker. And then this little tab is from um, Lauren Phelps Designs tab tape, and it says mood. And then this month, I'm gonna try some lettering. Try, note that I said try, because <laughs> I, I absolutely hate my handwriting, which is why I use so many stickers and stamps. And so hopefully I'm gonna improve upon that a little bit this month. So I'm gonna do lettering for all of these in the back. Um, I don't know if maybe I'll practice writing out some quote 
So if I'll just do letters, words, whatever. I just like this dot grid in the back that I thought would work nicely for that. So I just left that whole section in the back for that practice. And then I have my next month with the alphas. This is the printable for the A6 size, I think. I thought that just fit in that space very well. And then I used some stamping for some texture and then a sticker. And then I'll put sticky notes over here for the next month and write anything um, on this side. I may write like uh, ideas for next month's setup. Kind of like that. I'm doing that in my current one. And then in the back, I have a habit tracker from Digitalist by Row. It came with the splash in the back and then I just wrote in what I was going to do and then numbered. I got tired of numbering, but I'll finish that out later. Um, so I have my skincare, check YouTube for comments. If I have a headache, this lettering practice I'm going to try to do to read more and watering my plants. And then on the back, I just thought this was so cute. This is like, um, this was a free printable from September 2021, I think. I thought the color went really nice with all the, like this color in the front. So then I made this look like his little, he's going into the wall, his little mouse house area here. So yeah, that is my setup for September. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just put them down in the comments below and I will check those and get back to you. So then to add to um, what I was going to share, this is what I'm going to be putting that dory inside of. I am going to use a B6 ring binder from Print Prussians. I will have a link to the shop uh, down in the description box below. So this I've started doing, I made my magnetic um, traveler's notebook string attachment last time and then I moved to rings. So I had to find a way to kind of use these little buttons in a different way. So I have stuck it on a small size Ollie clip and it stays perfect. I have been using this, well not this particular binder, but a different one for um, this month and this is going in and out of my work bag. It doesn't come off, um, so it's perfect. This is the French Lavender. This is his new, um, newest release. I think it's the newest release. It has uh, double snaps and then on the inside, a um, bunch of pockets two large pockets here and then I put um, the vellum no the acetate from the uh, Coco Daisy kit on the front I thought that just looked so cute and then I have this is the uh, another printout from digitals by row the B and then this is paper from the kit that I just added to the, as a divider behind the, the vellum. And then I have another piece of the paper from the kit in here as well. And then uh, I will use this homemade, I've kind of made my own little insert just slips into the back pocket this is a it has it sits better in a full length back pocket if you want to do this idea and i just punched some holes and fed some um, elastic through it foxy fix used to make an insert like this a long time ago and i just kind of nabbed their idea because i wanted to see if i would like this first this is my current booklet for august um but I, so far I'm loving it. And this piece back here was just a chopping mat from the dollar store. I always have a lot of these because I'm a crafter and we use them for, for everything. So I just made my own little insert and then I can move it from whatever planner I want to. And it allows me to be able to 
move this into whatever planner that I choose to use that month. Um, I do have an Aura Estelle that has strings here and here, um, but I wanted to use this color because I thought it would go really well with the purples in the kit. Um, just, you know, really pretty to match some of the purple throughout the kit because purple is my favorite color. So, And then uh, I switched to a B6. I had just had to use an older Dory booklet that I had for the month of August because I did purchase this month's kit in a standard size and then I ended up not using that size because I wanted to really get in here and try this. So I, I switched out and I just kind of made it work. And then I have a charm. This is um, by plannershit.com. And then the rings in this I changed out. They came with silver and I just changed out to the black rings. I purchased those extra because um, I thought the black would kind of tie in with all the um, the black in the kit as well. Like the highlights of the bees. Alright, so that is my August... No. <laughs> We're in August. I'm confusing myself with doing this a month early my September setup in my uh, Coco Daisy B6 Daisy Dory. Again, if you have any questions, um, you can drop those in the comments down below. I will have links in the description box to the print pressions planner, uh, any like extra items like the digitals by row, uh, plannershit.com, all the shops that I PR for will be down in there as well. And anything that I mentioned, like the Sticker Human, I don't PR for them. I just really love them. So I'll share that down there as well. Um, and then if you uh, want to subscribe and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to follow me over on my Instagram, that's also come to the crafty side um, on Instagram. That would be awesome as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.